After a few days of teasing price reveals, Fantasy Premier League is live for the 2024-25 season, and it's time to put together my very first draft. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe for weekly team selection videos throughout the season, and you can enter my mini league via the link in the description. Without further ado, here are my initial picks for game week 1. Matt Sells established himself as Nottingham Forest's first choice goalkeeper last season, starting every match since game week 23. During that time, they considered the third fewest expected goals, and only Arsenal restricted opponents to fewer big chances. Those solid defensive numbers set the stage for promising fixtures at the city ground, where they host Bournemouth, Wolves, and Fulham in the first six game weeks. Trent Alexander Arnold has been handed a £1 million price reduction after an injury hit season limited his output to 8 goal involvements in 25 starts. Even so, he led defenders with 17 big chances created, and only Pedro Porro attempted more shots. Favourable opening fixtures can help Liverpool hit the ground running under new manager Arna Slot. There are several bargain defenders to consider at the £4.5 million price point, and Esri Konsa stands out among them. His contributions were crucial to Aston Villa's top four finish last season, despite their tally of eight clean sheets falling below their usual standards. They meet two promoted sides in the opening six game weeks, and welcome Everton and Wolves to Villa Park. With Sven Botman sidelined, Dan Burn looks set to continue as Fabian Scher's centre-back partner for Newcastle. Their tally of ten clean sheets last season was only bettered by Everton, Man City and Arsenal. After hosting newly promoted Southampton on opening weekend, the Magpies travelled to Bournemouth, Wolves and Fulham in the first five game weeks. A game week one tie with Ipswich ensures a place for Mohamed Salah, who boasts a proven track record on opening weekend. The Egyptian King has tallied eight goals and six assists across Liverpool's seven previous openers, never failing to deliver. Anthony Gordon only trailed Cole Palmer for points in home matches last season, with an impressive 9 goals and 13 assists in 18 outings. Newcastle welcomed Southampton to St James's Park in game week 1, having scored 23 goals against promoted sides last season, second only to Arsenal's 25. While Michael Elise's departure raises concerns for Crystal Palace, Abere Eze finished strongly under Oliver Glasner last season, amassing 9 goals and 3 assists in his last 14 starts. Only Saka, Foden and Palmer scored more goals during that period among midfielders. The Eagles avoid last season's top five teams in their first six game weeks. Another budget-friendly penalty taker who ended last season in fine form, Morgan Gibbs-White contributed six assists and two goals in the final ten game weeks. He supplied seven big chances in that period, surpassed by only Bruno Fernandes, Palmer and De Bruyne. Generous opening ties with Bournemouth, Southampton and Wolves can help him pick up where he left off. There's a big decision to make on Erling Haaland after his record-breaking price increase to £15 million. Pounds. My initial thoughts are to start with him for captaincy against Ipswich in game week 2, before perhaps looking to sell. That coincides with improved fixtures for Ollie Watkins after opening ties with West Ham and Arsenal. Priced at a reasonable £8.5 million, pounds, Alexander Rysak averaged an impressive 6.8 points per 90 minutes last season, second only to Haaland among forwards with at least 500 minutes played. The Swede closed out the campaign with 11 goals and 4 assists in the final 12 game weeks, recording a league-best 19 big chances in that period. Brighton's penalty-taking forward Joao Pedro appears criminally underpriced at £5.5 million after a successful debut season with the Seagulls. The Brazilian notched a team-leading 8 goals by game week 23, before being derailed by a hamstring injury. Now fit again, the only concerns are his role under new manager Fabian Herzler and a mixed bag of opening fixtures. As you'd expect, I've opted for cut price options on the bench, including Southampton centre-back Harwood Bellis. £4.5 million defender Anthony Robinson is the only player I intend to call upon. The Fulham left-back can be used in rotation with Conta and Byrne, complementing their fixtures with promising ties against Leicester and Ipswich in game weeks 2 and 3. With solid options in defence, I hope to avoid having to use a transfer there in the opening 6 game weeks, instead focusing on attacking changes. For example, I might decide to sell Haaland to Ollie Watkins in game week 3, and that would give me the funds to upgrade my £4.5 million bench midfielder to Cole Palmer, affording me the luxury of benching Joao Pedro or Gibbs White for their trickier fixtures. Christopher Nkunku is another player I've got my eye on, potentially in place of Gibbs White, if he can nail down a starting place under Enzo Maresca. Let me know your thoughts on this draft in the comments below, and tell me how you'd improve it. 
Stay tuned for lots more preseason content ahead of the Game Week 1 deadline, and I'll see you next time.